Here's a little video to show you how to make your own macros when using uh, Avid's control software on your iPad. So on our first window here on the left, I have a Pro Tools session open. Up here in the upper right corner, I have Avid's Yukon software open. You get to that by going to the little E in the menu and open the settings. I've switched over to the soft tabs, and what we're seeing here are, are the default tabs that you see on the iPad software. Down here is the iPad screen. Now the way I brought the iPad screen up on my Mac window is I logged into it remotely using a software called VNC. So look into that if that's something you're interested in doing. This represents the iPad down here. I can come over to the iPad and I can adjust faders and I can uh, click on any of the soft keys. Now by default, um, there are, I think, nine pages of keys that are already pre-programmed, and I put my own on page number 10. I created markers 1 through 6, and how to bring up the automation window, memory locations, toggle the video, suspending automation, which is very cool to have on a button, clear the solos, and clear the mutes. Now, these are all windows that on my laptop, I can't access because you need the numeric keypad to bring up any of these nine screens right here. So if I want to see the video and toggle the video and get it off the screen while I work, I have to keep going to a menu command. Now I can just come over to the iPad and I've got to toggle down here to row 10, where my stuff is. I can bring up the video, I can bring up the automation, I can bring up the memory locations, and I can suspend the automation with a button. That's also very nice to do. So I can hide the video and hide everybody. So how to create your own? Um, what I'll do here is I'm going to go to page 11, which doesn't have anything on it, and I will create a new command. And we'll make this one um, memory location 7. So I'm going to add a new key command. And you come over here, insert, and to go to a memory location, you should know that the key command on the numeric keypad is dot, memory location number, dot. So keypad, dot, and then keypad number. Now here's where I got confused. I thought then after this I would type the number like number 7, but you don't. You replace the 0 with 7. So that tells it to hit a period then numeric keypad 7, and then we need another period, keypad period 7. So that is the command that I just built for memory location 7, dot 7 dot on the numeric keypad. Close that, call it me oh, marker 7, and we can change the uh, color behind it, whatever we'd like. You can even go through and add icons if you'd like to. The icons are all located in this folder, Application Support Euphonics. You can go through and look at them. What I was doing was just typing the word marker and at the bottom there was one that was seemed fine. Now I'll have my little marker icon. Tell it to display icon and text and there it is. I've just created a button for marker 7. Let's save it to the, the uh, software, to the iPad. Now we'll make one more quick one, and this one we will have open up the big counter. So this time, it's, they're called Yukon commands, and you'll see what's very cool about it is it gives you all the menu options in Pro Tools. So we want a window, and we want big counter, just because, just for fun. There it is. Big counter, and we'll even leave it that color now. So once I hit save, those get transmitted over to the iPad. And down here are my markers on page 10. And here are the new ones we just created on page 11. So let's toggle down one page. And there they are. And toggle the big counter. There it is. And that's how you go about creating your own custom um, soft keys for Avid's control software on the iPad.